Jen. The craziest thing is happening out there. All these people hanging around in formal attire, waiting for something interesting to happen. So, any chance of getting you married today? Yeah, I'm at Mall Street. <laughs> you just paid someone $300 to do your makeup. What do I do? What am I gonna do? Take a deep breath. It's still there! Okay, I can, I can fix that thing. You can? When have I ever let you down? There was that time that you left me alone in our tent with that crazy squirrel. We were Girl Scouts, Jen. Nine years old. Nice work, Betsy. You rest now. Steve, find your brother a date. Please. No one comes between a man and his truck, Murph. Lockwood! What the hell were you thinking out there today? No time to wait for a ladder, Captain. Besides, I can climb faster myself. You could also get yourself killed. Don't let it happen again. Hopeless. You are speaking to the author of the trade paperback, Makeup Disasters. And, and their solutions. Grace, it's getting bigger. Do you think it's a sign that I, I shouldn't get married? You know you love him, and you're perfect for each other. It's just the wedding day jitters, I promise. Are you planning on turning that off, you know, at the altar? Oh, at least until you get the ring on your finger. Then everyone can watch my flying thumbs. Ready? What about the blotch? It's gone. Now, can we please get you married? You saved my life. <laughs> I look forward to returning the favor on your wedding day. First things first. How was Miami? So cool. I mean, hot. <laughs> it was awesome. I'm completely overruled. What's his name? You're a new woman. Totally. The trip actually gave me a great idea for my next book. Getting over a bad breakup, 10 steps to picking out the pieces, and finding the new you. Do you like it? As long as the title's not longer than the book, I like it. Good morning, Alicia. Good morning, Grace. And uh, what are you working on? I'm proofing a copy of Gardening in Small Spaces, finishing my first draft of Knitting for New Moms, and I'm weighing two new ideas. Plan perfect parties or a sequel to the organized abode called the Organized Workplace. Slacker. Organized Workplace. Sequels are always a good bet. I'll have something for you tomorrow. I look forward to it. It's me. It's open. Hey. Guess where I'm going. Sorry, I had to finish that thought. Iris is going somewhere. Mm -hmm. Albuquerque. You want me to fly out Monday? Cliff, that's great news. I am going to close the deal on this Bidwell account. I can feel it. You know, if I land this. When you land it. When I land at Grace, it's going to be big, huge. Oh, it's going to be so good for us. House in Kensington, here we come. Yeah. So. What are you working on? My sequel to The Organized Abode. 
the organized workplace. Sequel sell. Alicia was intrigued, but my pitch has to be perfect. Don't forget organized. <laughs> so where are the uh, happy newlyweds? They closed the Second Avenue Bridge, and their GPS rerouted them through a Polish street festival. Oh, maybe they stopped for a kielbasa. I hope not, because I am serving an exceptional Thai dinner. Wow. When's the last time we had dinner with Jen and Bill? Mm, a wedding reception? No. Yes. But that was seven weeks ago. How could that be? We're busy. That's honeybees. Honey. Oh. That's probably them. No, that's my exceptional Thai dinner. setting up that playoff pool again, you in? No thanks. Come on, you won last year, you gotta defend your title. Frank, I said no thanks. Eh. Mom called while you were in the shower. Dad went in for his annual physical. The doctor called him overweight, he was deeply offended. <laughs> well, maybe Dad should use that treadmill we bought him for something other than a coat rack. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we gotta get a move on. Captain says he wants to talk to me tonight. Talk? You know what that means? <laughs> Arizona is amazing. The whitewater rafting, that was mm. like the highlight. You guys, you have to come with us next time. Oh, whitewater. Well, you all know that I like uh, blue water. <laughs> well, then you should come with us to the Bahamas next spring. Mm. Mm. I don't know how. I have three books due before summer. So, um, have you guys set a date yet? Well, we have a two-year plan. Two-year plan? Well, that's spontaneous. <laughs> well, the first year we're concentrating on our jobs, and the second year we're gonna work on the wedding and the house. Well, sounds like a plan. Yeah. What? So speaking of plans, we have some exciting news. <sighs> oh, Jen, that, that's so fast. Why, we've been looking for houses for over a year now. A house. Congratulations. Thanks. Where? St. James Village. Oh, and you're staying in town. Mm hmm It's a real family neighborhood. They've got great schools, just interesting people, mm. that beautiful park right oh. next door. Mm. It's like... It's... It's like... It's... Sorry. Like a small little town tucked inside a big city, you know? Well, I mean, you guys know, right? You're looking in the same area? Cliff and I are thinking about buying in Kensington. Oh, cha-ching. Yeah. That's so far out of town. Here I thought you liked St. James Village. Can you two afford Kensington? Well, that's why we're both working overtime. Is it worth it? Kensington? It's, it's a great investment. Oh, Grace, I mean, you're already working so hard. I hardly ever see you. Well, we work in the same office. Exactly. <laughs> well, we're seeing each other right now, aren't we? Yes. Yes, we are. Well, well, if it isn't Mr. Lockwood and his crazy kid brother. Hey, call me anything, just don't call me late for dinner. Hey, Gee. <clears throat> what are you making there, Murph? Meatloaf there, Frank. Looks good. Actually, it's lacking a little something. I was hoping maybe the Iron Chef could help. How about it, Steve? I'm good, Murph. I already ate, thanks. Is he cooking at home? Nothing that reminds him of her. I thought we were here to save lives. You knew the floor was hot. You knew time was running out. You went back in. You never go back in without your partner. It was my decision. How come I stay you treating this like it's some kind of solo act? First that thing without the ladder, then the jump between the buildings, and now this. What if the floor gave out, huh? Not only would you be dead, I could have lost every man that I sent back in there to get you. Well, I'm sorry. No, you're not. No, you're not. You wouldn't keep doing it. All right, look, Steve, I respect you. I do. Every single man in this firehouse, they respect you, but this is crazy cowboy stuff. You put every one of our lives in danger. Is that what you want? No. I already know what it's like to lose a man. I don't want to lose another one, Steve. 
You need help. I'm not seeing a shrink. Oh, I can't let this behavior slide. It's not gonna help you, it's not gonna help this firehouse. You suspend it until further notice. I can't believe I finally dragged you here. It's a clogged artery waiting to happen. Maybe, but this girl is celebrating. Really? What? No longer having to fit into my wedding dress. Okay, vegetables aren't really their specialty. <laughs> Want a bite? No, thanks. Just as well, I came here to work. Does that thing ever run out of batteries? Never. You know I hate missing calls, especially at a business lunch. Finished? Mmm. Burger is so good. Not as good as the ones your dad used to make, though. Hey, our place has a grill. When are you coming by? It's a busy time. You know my workload, Jen. Okay, so what have you got? The best regional wineries. It's a tough job, but somebody's got to do it. Mm, maybe. It'll take a while to write, though. Yeah? Mm. You gonna eat that? No. And let's doggy bag it. I want to get going. We just got here. Frank, you're a terrific brother. You really are. You're the best. I'm your only brother. And I appreciate what you're trying to do. I really do. Appreciate what? You're trying to cheer me up. Hey, I only brought you along to increase my chances of meeting girls. And I told you, I'm not ready. Come on, we got prospects at 12 o'clock. Since when have you chased women? Just plenty of women. I just don't know what to do when I catch them. Hey, your kid brother takes you out to your favorite diner. Oh, so you're picking up the tab. I was speaking hypothetically. Come on. At the very least, you're gonna watch me humiliate myself. That'll do. Okay. Go all over that country getting totally smashed all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, ladies. Uh, just wanted you to know that there's a celebrity in the house. I'm... Sorry, is it you? I don't recognize you. No, it's my brother Steve. Uh, firefighter of the year 2007. Best propeller in Firehouse 22. Gee, I would have pegged you as the best repeller. <sighs> my interview. Hello? Well, now that we got rid of those two, you're an organizational expert and my book could use your expertise. Yes, I recorded your morning show appearance, but I have my own questions. I'll be there. Thank you, Mr. Turris, thank you so much. Oh, oh sorry. sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I never know what to do in these situations. I mean, do you stop, step aside, go the other way, go the original way? Yes. Yes, to what? And you go the original way as planned. Great. Except, I don't remember my original way. Wow, that's quite the Harley Fat Boy you got there. Nothing like the rumble of a V-twin. Uh, no, it's not mine. You know, you know bikes? I know a lot of things. That didn't sound good, did it? I write how-to books. Hey, where'd you go, Steve? You left me ha hanging out to... Oh, I should go. go. I found this. Hey, your lucky charm. Brought on as a rookie. A lot of good it did me. You're alive, right? So, uh, so that girl from Maloney, she she kind of had something, didn't yes, she? Yes, she had a diamond ring on her finger. You noticed? That means you're interested. No, I'm not. Well, you gotta rip the bandage off sometime. Will you let it go, Frank? No, I won't let it go, Steve. I'm worried about you. And I don't like worrying. Worrying is the older brother's job. What the hell do you want me to do? Well, maybe take your own ring off. Oh. Ow. Back off. Look, Steve, I miss Molly too, but she's gone and you're still here. And I need you to want to be here. Molly would have wanted that too. I'll see you at home.
Hello? Hi. Hey, honey. Just calling to say goodnight. Aren't you sweet? How's the hotel? Room service is hideous. What'd you have for lunch? Jen and I did a working lunch at Copper's. Copper's? That grease pit? I had a salad. Well, a reasonable facsimile. <laughs> Did you get a hold of the mortgage broker yet? Yeah, it's on my to-do list. I'm pretty sure we're gonna have the rest of our down payment soon. I got an interview with that organizational expert. Oh, fantastic. When? Tomorrow, 3 o'clock. Wow, I've got my presentation tomorrow also at 3. I'll send you good luck vibes. Ditto. Listen, if both these projects... When they both click. Right. We better get some rest. You know, I love you. I love you, too. Good night, Cliff. Good night. You need to rest now, right? Uh, uh, shh. Okay, there you go. Rest. How's she doing? Um, sir, there's no visiting now. Oh, no, I was the guy who brought her in. Oh, the fireman? Yeah. Oh, yeah, come on. Is she gonna be okay? I mean, she was unconscious when I found her. Well, we're gonna have to wait and see. I mean, she responded well to the bronchodilators, but now there's a possibility of fluid in her lungs. I, um... I brought her sweater. I'll give it to her. You will. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. girl. How did I get here? Somebody saw the smoke and pulled you out of there. Who? An off-duty fireman from Firehouse 22. Like I say, you are one lucky girl. Cliff. Grace, how you feeling? I 
feel okay. Oh, that I could feel a lot better. Oh, yeah. How long have you been here? Oh, I flew here as soon as the hospital gave me the news. Oh, but your presentation. Oh, it can wait. Let's just concentrate on getting you out of here, okay? Hopefully, you won't have to stay here that long. What's in there? That was all they were able to recover from the fire. In this one little box? Yeah, that's everything. Not quite. I'm still here. And I uh, replaced your laptop. All your files from your office computer are already loaded. Thank you. And that organizational expert is waiting to hear from you when you're ready to go back to work. Who's ready for a serious upgrade from hospital food? Spinach salad? Mm hmm. You need your iron. You know, Grace, I've been thinking. Let's pick a wedding date. What about our two-year plan? Plans change. When did you decide this? Sitting in the hospital that first night, hoping with all my heart that you'd get better. I realized I almost lost you once. I'm never going to let that happen again. When? When? <laughs> well, you know I'm working on the Bidwell deal for a while, so... Is there a Saturday in April? Oh, no. April won't work if the deal happens. When it happens. May? No, May 13th, I have the Scranton trip, and then we're getting close to Memorial Day, so... Early May? <sighs> What's wrong with May 7th? Nothing at all. May 7th? Great. I'll call the church. <laughs> you at the hospital, but you were pretty out of it. Cliff said we should just wait till you recovered. I'm recovered. You look great. You look like your old self. You're young. Old self. <laughs> oh. So, did you pitch Alicia your regional wineries book? She loved it. Phil couldn't be happier, too. We're just gonna spend a lot of time together checking out wineries. <laughs> oh, and the company's dime, too. <laughs> Life couldn't be better. I'm a happily married woman. My best friend didn't die in a fire. How's Cliff? Busy. I bet. We set a wedding date. Oh my god! When? May 7th. <laughs> I can't wait to get started. As your maid of honor, I have some really good... Am I your maid of honor? Come on, that's a silly question. What is it? I found this old picture of me and my dad. It was one of the few things that survived the fire. Honey. He's not gonna be there to walk me down the aisle. Or... Sorry. I'm a little emotional. You 
nothing to apologize for. You want to go back to your room, or...? I think I'll go to the firehouse and thank the firemen who saved my life. Good idea. <laughs> Frank, you know that guy Moose in Division 52? Yeah. Seven hoagies in one sitting. And then, like, a whole bottle of Pepto? It's disgusting. <laughs> is his name <laughs> Moose, or is he <laughs> actually a Moose? I think he is an actual yeah. Moose. Hello. Hi. Can I help you? I'm looking for Steve Lockwood. He's not here right now, but... Uh, I'm Steve's brother, Frank. Have we met? At Copper's? A few weeks ago? Oh, that's it. Uh, it's nice to see you again. Nice to be here. Right after that, I, I nearly died in a fire. What? Where? San Ho Place. San Ho Place? That was a bad one. That was my house. I'm so sorry. At least you're okay. Thanks to your brother. Anyway, I came by to thank you. I'll leave him this, and maybe I'll write him a note. All right, I'll make sure he gets it. Hey! <laughs> Come on, right. watch the lady. It's a really nice camera. Are you, like, a photographer or something? No, no, I... It was one of the few things that survived the fire. Hey, get a shot of this. The Manning brothers got nothing on me. <laughs> OK. You got my good side? You ready? <laughs> oh. You can delete that right now. <laughs> Please, great. Here's your picture, right here. See, this is the most beautiful hoagie in the world. <laughs> Hey, sit down and have a hoagie with us. Oh, no, I should go. Are you sure? You will love it. Trust me, Miss... Harlan. Grace Harlan. Well, Miss Harlan, please. Another hoagie, boys. Yeah, have a seat. So, I guess your brother was off duty that night? Actually, he was suspended. Suspended? Yeah, he's been going through some stuff. His wife passed away. Oh. It must be really hard. Yeah. Maybe you want to call him. You know? Thank him over the phone. Sure. Maybe he'll realize how much he's needed around here. Maybe even make him feel better about himself. I know I'd appreciate it. I'd be happy to call him. <clears throat> Dinner is served. <laughs> Thank you. And now a long birdie putt to take control of this match and hand the lead out right to Robinson. Honey, I'm home. I got leftovers. It looked like it was going to go center cut, but it would just turn right in. Come on, Steve. Let's eat at the table like civilized people. All right. Any calls today? Uh, maybe. You know, you might want to start answering your phone. I gave your number to that woman you pulled from the Stanhope place. She came by today to thank you. Now she wants to call me? She wants to thank you properly. In person, probably. Well, I think it's great that she's OK, but it's not necessary. You should meet her. She's cool. She's engaged. She might have a friend. I'm not interested in dating right now. How many times do I have to tell you? I meant a friend for me. Bite my head off, why don't you? She wants to thank you for saving her life. Is that so terrible? Yeah. Yeah, OK, no problem. Smile. You didn't smile. It's because I have to fly to Washington tonight. Tonight? Well, that gives us plenty of time for a walk. Walk? Well, where to? Nowhere, just a walk. Or we could go somewhere. How about the park? Park. Yeah, you know, it's kind of chilly outside. We'll bundle up. It'll be nice. And I can take some pictures. Pictures? Pictures of what? I don't know. Birds, trees, whatever we see. Maybe I'll take some of you. <sighs> OK. <laughs> Grace, when did you take up photography, anyway? Oh, 
When I was 10, I think. I told you that. My picture of that prize pumpkin that ran in the school paper. Prize pumpkin. I have to go and pack. No, it doesn't take you all day to pack. No, prepare. They want me to meet the CFO for drinks tonight. OK. OK, before you go, let's pick a day when we can go to Jen and Bill's house to visit. No, it's going to be hard. It's not hard. You just pick a day, and then you don't plan anything else for that day. Except I have no idea when I'm coming back from Washington. And well, when I get back, you know how tight our schedules are. I'm sorry. yours. I'm starving. Burger? Does Cliff know that you're cheating on his tofu? Yes. He's fine with it. Ish. <laughs> How's work? Alicia's cracking the whip. When are you coming back? Monday. You're gonna walk in with three perfect pitches and I'll put all the rest of us to shame. Thanks, I'll have a beer. This burger is grilled to perfection. How's Bill? How's the house? Good. We love it. We spent last night finishing a bottle of wine and enjoying the twilight colors. I want to visit soon. Well, check with Cliff's schedule and let me know. My schedule's wide open, and I'd really love to see the place. You would? Why wouldn't I? Last time you didn't seem so interested. Well, I'm interested now. Look at you. What? You remind me of the girl I grew up with. You know, I keep going over that night in my mind. How close I came. If it wasn't for that firefighter. Did you get to thank him? No, he wasn't there. His younger brother was. He was the one who wanted us to meet a celebrity. Firefighter of the year. Yeah. What a line. <laughs> Actually, it's true. His brother said he's having a rough time right now, and I had to call him, but. Do it. Come on, the guy saved your life. Yeah, maybe he doesn't want some. Please, every man wants to be told that he's a hero. Good to have you here, Grace. It's good to be here. Just a second. That's the quickest I've ever seen you move. Just talk to her, will you? Hello? Hi, Steve. It's Grace Harlan from the fire at the townhouse on Stanhope. Hi. Hi. I'm calling because I wanted to say how 
grateful I am to you for being there and for, you know, saving my life. Well, uh, it's my job. Can I pick you in person? Big ketchup guy myself. <laughs> hey, Hi. I'm so glad you came. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, I ordered this for you. Oh. And uh, dinner's on me. Wow, I should save your life more often. <laughs> Just a small token of my appreciation. It's not every person who would risk his life for a complete stranger. So thank you for my second chance. Sure. To not being dead. Oh, God, what did I just say? No, it's okay. No, it's not. No, it is. My brother said I should get out of the house more, see friends. It's okay. He just wants you to be happy. Hmm. But what's happy? Pretty relative term. Especially after what you've been through. Sounds like you know from experience. My dad. He was there for me every day of my life. And then one day he wasn't anymore. And then everything changed. <sighs> Maybe I should get some more fries to go with my ketchup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Can I get some more fries, please? Sure. So are you a typical fireman, an adrenaline junkie? Uh, it's a bit of a stereotype. So you don't go skydiving, bungee jumping, rock climbing, bull riding? No, no, and definitely no. Motorcycling? Yeah. I knew it. I knew it, the way you were looking at that Harley outside. Now, why do you know so much about bikes? Oh, um, I wrote a book two years ago, Motorcycle Maintenance for Novices. Well, my bike definitely needs a tune-up. Oh, you should get it going again. There you go. Thank you. I'm starving. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good to have you back, Grace. Thanks, Alicia. Thanks to all of you for the emails, all the flowers. <laughs> all right, let's cut right to it. Pitch me your next bestseller. I, uh, I, I don't have a pitch ready. Oh, okay. Uh, where are we on the organized workplace? It's been tough getting beyond the shelving chapter. Surprised to hear that. Well, this is your first day back. Can you have a pitch ready for next week? What have you got for us, Michelle? Well, getting over a bad breakup. And what's the angle? I'm going to interview different women who have gone through difficult breakups, see how they coped. Sob stories? No, this is inspirational. Like, for example, when my boyfriend broke up with me, I nearly died. But I went to Miami and found that the change of scenery, the new people, the new experiences, it just revived me in a way. So this book is going to be about positive change and how something new can just give you a new lease on life. I'm pleased that you're drawing on your personal experience this time, Michelle. This sounds like one from the heart. And that is what separates the good books from the great ones. Hey, Michelle. Yeah. Good pitch. Thanks. Let me know if I can help you with yours. Are you still open to um, new experiences? Such as? Dating. Something casual would be OK. Maybe you can help me with a different project. Hey, 
Jamie, you brought out the bike. Yeah, well, she needs a lot of work. Can you give me three eights, please? Sure. Whoa. You know, they say you can judge a man by how he takes care of his tools. Brother, you're a mess. Hi, Grace. Stop me if this is out of line, but... But what? I was just thinking that if you ever wanted to go on a date, I know this girl at work. Ah, a girl at work. She's young, cute, not serious. She's like the anti-me. You say it like it's a good thing. I just thought it might be fun. You know, I'm not much for setups. You could just go for a drink. Why not? Tonight at Coppers, Michelle will meet you at five. Okay. Okay, it's a date. Don't hang up. Is Frank there? I need to ask him something. Uh, let me see if I can find him. Hello? Phil and I are looking at carpet swatches that day. You can come with us, but it's not as interesting as it sounds. Then can I come by and see the house Sunday and stuff? Yeah, that'd be fantastic. So? How's the sequel coming? It's not. I scrapped it. Grace! I've got something else cooking. Does Alicia know? Not yet, but I'm taking her advice. This one is from the heart. I gotta go. Where? People who save our lives. I think you can convince your captain this is a good idea? Well, you help my brother out, the least I can do is return the favor. Thanks. What is that smell? Hey, I showered daily. <laughs> no, it smells amazing. Well, you came by just in time for dinner. After you? Do you like live bands? Going to concerts? Depends on who it is, I guess. Well, what kind of music do you like? Do you like punk? Wow, you ask a lot of questions, huh? <laughs> Sorry. Occupational hazard of being a writer, I guess. But wow, a fireman? That sounds like an awesome job. It, it has its moments. I love mine, too. Fun part is everything is research. Like this one time I worked on this book about tattoos, and so I got one on the small of my back, and my parents freaked. <laughs> Did you want to see it? No, I'm good. Maybe, maybe some other time. You know, there's this band called Aztec Wheel that plays at a club near here. Did you maybe want to check them out later? No. Michelle, listen, I'm sorry. Um, you really are great. You, you're fantastic. It's me. I can't do this. I'm not, I'm not ready. I'll take care of the drinks, okay? I'm sorry. Firemen have a lot of downtime, so most of us learn to cook. <laughs> most of us. Water burner. <sighs> the Lockwood with all the culinary talent is Steve. He is the best chef this firehouse has ever seen. Must be nice living with a chef. Yeah, except he doesn't cook these days. Good. Hey, Michelle, how's your date? What date? He left. Already? No, uh, we didn't really click. Kind of reminded me of my older brother. Sorry it didn't work out. Nah, it's no problem. I'm off to see my favorite band. It was a bus, wasn't it? It's my fault. I was trying to help him, and I made things worse. <laughs> now you know how I feel. Should I go to your place, talk to him, or would that add insult to injury? He's not there. I probably shouldn't be telling you this. Frank told me I'd find you here, at the soup kitchen. I hope that's okay. It'd be better if you rolled up your sleeves. 
No, I was, I was kidding. No, I, I want to help. Yeah, I've noticed. <laughs> Michelle. <laughs> She's very sweet, very inquisitive. Sorry. No, she was fine. It was me. No, you can leave that there. That's for Jonesy. He uh, gets a little anxious with all the crowds, so he comes back later to eat. Do you volunteer a lot? It's my first week back. Uh, Molly and I, we volunteered here every week for three years. I used to help at the animal shelter, but when my dad died and my career kicked in, I just never find the time. You gotta make time. I know, I'm learning that more and more ever since the fire. Oh. Oh, sorry. Oh, it's okay. A little dishwater never hurt anybody. I have to thank you for something. Uh-oh. I don't know if I can accept another one of your thank yous. When I first went to the firehouse to find you, I was so inspired by the place that it gave me a new idea for a book. So thank you. You're welcome. I guess. You know, they really miss you at the station. Yeah, I, I don't I don't know when I'm going back. Well, but you could stop by for a visit. I guess so. They've got dirty dishes too. So you got it working. So far, so good. How long have you had it? My parents gave it to us for our wedding gift. Cool parents. Yeah, they're big into bikes. Your parents are still together? Over 40 years. Wow. How do they do it? <laughs> they're always planning their next vacation. Skiing, golfing. They're best friends. They're meant for each other. Sounds like they make every day a new beginning. Hop on. That was Cliff, my fiance. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll see you later, Steve. See you later. Too late to start celebrating. What are we celebrating? Bidwell account. Signed, sealed, and delivered. Cliff, why didn't you tell me on the phone? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Thought it was a special, special occasion. Get careful of the shirt. It's just water. Actually, it's Egyptian cotton. I'm so happy for you, Cliff. Toast. There we go. To us, to our future. Mmm. Maybe now we can go to the Bahamas with Jen and Bill. What? Oh, I probably won't have time. I thought you said the Bidwell stuff was over. No, no, we landed the account. Yeah, the real work's uh, just beginning. Certainly for the next few weeks, once we get it up to speed. By May. Oh, in May we're getting married, so there's our honeymoon to think about, right? I guess you're right. Yeah. It's not like you to uh, be late. I was helping out at the soup kitchen down the street. Oh. Why? Why? Because it feels good to help people who really need it. I could always give them money. Probably go a lot further. Give you time to do things important. Well, feeding the homeless is important. Yeah. Sure. How's the uh, book going, Grace? I dropped it. I'm gonna do something on firefighters. I just need an angle. Grace, you said that the organized workplace was a moneymaker. This book is gonna sell, too. But uh, doesn't it take a lot more time to start from square one? It's gonna sell even more. Look at these pictures. When these guys aren't saving lives, they cook these elaborate meals together. Hmm. Kitchen looks a little communal. 
The Ladder Company Cookbook, recipes and stories from a firehouse. These men are passionate, fun, and funny. The firehouse is so full of energy and life. Even though they deal with tragedy, they somehow come together to make these meals and celebrate life. This is not your usual standard fare. It's not my standard fare. I'm raising my standards. Alicia, this book may take me a little longer to write, but it's something I have to do. You have a lot of passion for this project. Go for it. I look forward to seeing it. So what do you think, Captain? Ms. Harlan. It's a good idea. It'll also be good for company morale. It's a shame Steve Lockwood can't be a part of this book. I hear he's a great cook. He's a great fireman, too. He just needs time to, uh... He just needs some time before he can come back to this firehouse and help this community again. He never stopped helping the community. He's He's been volunteering at the South Street Soup Kitchen. Is that so? Wow. Jeez, that's... He hasn't done that for a long time. And if it weren't for him, I wouldn't be doing this project. Or any project. He saved my life. I brought you your favorite flowers. You know, I remember dropping you off at your apartment after our first date. And I said, goodbye, Molly. And you told me I shouldn't say goodbye because it suggested that we were never going to see each other again. You told me to say see you soon instead. And we never said goodbye, we always said see you soon. I'm sorry I haven't visited Molly. I didn't want to say goodbye. Jen. Still warm, Jonesy. Enjoy. Grace Harlan? It's my new layered look. I think you look fantastic without your laptop. So you blew off work to work at a soup kitchen? It's not work. Just a little time. What's up? People need more than soup. I need someone to take the time to stop and really see them. Well, I see you, and I like what I see. <laughs> oh. Hey. It's, it's so good to have you back. What do you mean? You're like you were before your dad died. I felt so helpless and lonely when he died. That's why I threw myself into my work. I know. Since the fire, I felt different. Like so many things that didn't really matter got burned away. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Makes a lot of sense. You ready for the heat? Boom. You ready for the action? Right there, buddy. Hey, <laughs> Go. Watch uh, Get in here, buddy. Hey. The prodigal firefighter returns. Hey, guys. It's good to see you, Steve. Coffee. Oh, take one of those. Thank you. Oh, Thank you. All right, yeah. I'm gonna take one of the captains. Yeah, you do that. Nice suit. <laughs> we love you. Wanna toss the ball? Yeah. Sure. Put it on. Go long. Hey, hey. Oh. Oh, good. Good. All right, I love you too, sweetie. Bye bye. Hey, Captain. Uh, got you a double double with milk, courtesy of Steve. 
Oh, thanks. What's with the suit? Oh, uh, well, Steve and I were just visiting Molly's grave. Really? How about that? Yeah, he's, he's just downstairs uh, saying hi to the guys if you want. Oh, jeez. Situation. Uh, a couple of kids were fooling around the old Conan Hotel. Someone slipped down the old elevator shaft. Now he's seriously hurt and he's trapped. Ah, oh, jeez. We're gonna need our best repeller on this one. You too. Move it. Lockwood. Can I trust you? Yes, sir. You can. All right. Get your stuff. Yes, sir. We're on route ETA one minute. What do we got? Well, the stairs collapsed. We got kids trapped inside, parking level four or five. I'm not sure. All right. All right, listen up. A couple of kids mess around on the staircase, and their thing gives out, drops one of the boys down to, he thinks, parking level four or five. Only way to get there, staircase is history, through the lobby here, down the elevator shaft. Got it? Just rope us a calf, Steve. All right. Do it. Make these two beams the uh, anchor right over here. When you're done, I want that shackle right here, right where I'm standing, right there. Here. Once you saw this section, right here, from here to here, all right? Get on. Where's that anchor? Hold on a second. Let's go, let's go. We don't get it. Here we go. Secure. Yes, sir. You'll be safe down there. Yes, sir. No cowboy stuff. All right, do it. I'm gonna drop the rope down now, okay? Three, two, one! Okay, easy. All right, kid, I'm coming down. Buddy, almost there. What's your name? It's Josh. All right, Josh, tell me, can you move your legs? Yeah, I'm... my ankle's killing me. But you can feel it. Yeah. That's good. That's good. All right, just relax. I'm almost there. Get a basket in here. Get the basket! Uh, oh. Sorry, it's all right. All right, Cap! Uh, Set it down! Put her down. Get her in.
to another successful rescue. Yeah. And to the return of the better Lockwood brothers. <laughs> also, here's to our team, to our family, back together again. Oh, and to our newest member. Me? Yeah. yeah you're one of us now, Grace. Not a company 22. 22. 22. 22. 22. 22. Now, the thing I don't get is how you got to the scene so fast. Do the two of you have some kind of psychic connection or something like that? Actually, I borrowed a shortwave radio so I could get pictures of you guys in action. Smart. Uh -oh. yeah, buddy. Go. So, Jonesy told me you've been down in the soup kitchen a few times, huh? I really like it there. That place could use a rescue, too. The owner's jacking up the rent. Uh, we're going to do a fundraiser here, but uh, I don't know how much longer that place can hold out. Is there something I can do? Maybe. You're the expert helping people out. <sighs> I'm no expert. You help me a lot. I have? Yeah. I should go. Why? Cliff and I have plans. But you're coming back, right? I mean, for, for the book. Definitely. For the book. Okay. I expected the whole experience to be exciting, but not, you know, exhilarating. Well, I just hope you weren't too close to the scene. No, I was way back. Well, I think living uh, in a hotel room is making you loopy. What do you say we go house hunting in Kensington? Right now, I'm in my pajamas. Grace, Grace, come look at this. Come here, come here. Huh? Open house tomorrow, quiet cul-de-sac, huge lot, private setting. What do you think? Well, I hope it's not too private. Our kids won't have anyone to play with. Oh, they'll play with the other kids at school and the nanny. The nanny? Yeah, the nanny, unless you're planning on staying at home. I hadn't thought of that. Yeah, maybe. You mean work from home, right? I want to be there for our kids. Well, we'd lose a lot of income. We need to be realistic about this. I don't even know why we're arguing. We're, what, four years away from having kids anyway? <laughs> if we're going to be realistic about it, that house isn't even in our price range. But you said the fireman's cookbook is surefire. Yes, but I'm donating half the proceeds to the soup kitchen. What? With the money from the book, they could not only survive, they could thrive. But what about our survival? Cliff, I don't exactly see us out on the street corner panhandling. What do you see for us? Kensington's very nice. But maybe we could find something closer. In this neighborhood, maybe. Captain said you could come back without all the baggage. Fine. And I guess he's not hungry. Uh, he's back! Yes! Not bad, just a little out of practice. Hey, I got these for the table, but I want you to take them home later. Sunflowers. Yeah, my dad said, sunflowers always make a woman smile. But I think it was my mom who told me. <laughs> Your parents seem very wise. Yeah. You, um, you two plan on having kids? Yeah, in a few years. Oh. You know, I uh, saw a sign outside a toy shop once. It said, don't postpone the joy. If you know what I mean. It smells like heaven. Yeah? You wanna try it? No, I don't wanna ruin the surprise. Oh, come on. I need an objective opinion. It's a little warm. Mmm. That may be the best thing I've ever tasted. Yeah. Just wait to see how it works with the homemade pasta. Wow. <laughs> 
Hey. Hey. Sauce is gonna be ready in about five minutes. Okay. All right, I'm ready. I'm wearing a plastic band pants. <laughs> <laughs> Grace, oh, I've never been so full in my life. We may have to pump Frank's stomach. <laughs> Thanks for letting me photocopy your recipe book. You guard that with your life. Chicken cacciatore. You gave it four stars. Is it that good? Yeah. It's actually Molly's favorite. In fact, that was the last thing I ever made her. The night of the accident. Oh. Yeah, after dinner, I went to work on the night shift, and she went to go visit her parents. I was actually on call when the dispatch came over. Three-car pileup. You know, I had the weirdest feeling. Ah, something told me it was her. I got there as fast as I could, but it was too late. Sounds like you did everything you possibly could. See, that's the thing. I. That's my job. I save people's lives. That's what I do. And I couldn't save the most important person in my life. Think of all the ones you have saved. Like me. <sighs> well, I will get this book messenger back to you tomorrow. You gonna messenger? I'm pretty much through the book. I've got all the pictures I need, plenty of interviews. You didn't get mine. <laughs> Maybe because I feel like I know you so well already. Once we get an idea of the numbers, then we can talk seating plan, and uh, your dress alterations will be done on Wednesday, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. So, flowers. You got any ideas? Your race? What? Flowers. Flowers? Flowers are nice. Sorry. I'm a little distracted. It's called the bride-to-be blues. You think? Come on, I was a wreck before my wedding. What am I telling you for? You were there <laughs> right up until you marched me to the back of those church doors. In your spotless dress. <laughs> Listen. I just want you to know, no matter what happens, I'm there for you. We could put Martha next to David. Yeah. I don't think colleagues and family will mix. Someone sitting next to me on the balcony. And I try to be truthful about life. But it's useless to be truthful with someone who leaves.
Steve, Murph and some of the guys are going down to the ballpark. You want to hit us some grounders? Yeah. Want to grab a bite? I'm not hungry, man. Did you talk to Grace? She was a good friend to all of us. You too. And now she's done her research, and she's getting married, and that's that. And I can't stand it here anymore. I'm gonna go for a ride. You coming or not? I got your back. Recipe book? Oh, yeah, I got it back. Thanks. I have someone helping me on the cookbook now. Michelle, remember her? Yeah. She's gonna do the last draft. I needed a final edit. So. Well, it doesn't sound like I'm gonna see you after the wedding either. You know, um, you made a big difference in my life. I'm gonna miss you. You made a difference in mine. I'm gonna miss you, too. Bye. Yeah, bye. <laughs> Ooh. We need to move on. Now? Okay. Grace. Stressed on the phone. Are you okay? Yeah, I, I've been kind of overwhelmed. Grace, what's going on? I feel like I'm disappointing you. What? We're so close to the wedding, and I keep changing my mind about everything. I'm messing up our plans for everything. It's not fair to Grace, you, Cliff. <laughs> we'll work this out, Grace. I don't know. I, I don't think we should. Grace, look at me. We are going to work this out. Everything's going to be fine. Wow. I know how much you've been through since the fire, but I love you, and whatever you want, I'm going to make happen for you. But... A house in St. James Village near Jen, having kids sooner, a trip to the Bahamas or just a walk in the park, all these things you love. I want to share them with you. But will that make you happy? Yes, as long as you are. Okay? Okay.
know the craziest thing is happening out there? There's all these people in formal attire waiting for something interesting to happen. What do you think the chances are of getting you married today? You ready? It's just nerves, right? Tell me it's just nerves. It's just nerves. Probably. I just need to get through this wedding and get back to normal. I really lost myself after the fire, Jen. We're best friends, right? Of course. I need to tell you this. I don't think that you lost yourself after the fire. I think you found yourself. You've been fun and friendly, creative, giving, passionate. You've been you again, Grace. But that's just your best friend's opinion. What do you think I should do? Whatever it is that's gonna make you happy. That's all that matters to me. I know. So, let's take it from the top. Are you ready? wedding is today. And we weren't invited? No, of course not. Why? Give me three hours, I'll explain it to you. Why don't you explain it to him? Nah, he doesn't listen to me. Frank. Look, I know that I give you a lot of grief, OK? But the truth of it is, you are an excellent brother to him. You are the reason that Steve is still here. Believe it. Now go talk to your brother, because he only listens to you. Hey, Steve. Come on, drop the gloves, huh? Put some clothes on. Why? We got a wedding to stop. You remember Jake the Fist? The biggest bully in grade school used to hunt me down every morning recess and beat me up for no reason. Yeah, I remember you asking me to deal with him like it was some scene out of The Godfather. Yeah. And you remember how you dealt with him? You didn't even have to touch him. You just took him to the side and talked to him. And Jake the Fist never bothered me again. He did that because you're my brother. I've been trying to repay you for over a year now. I've tried everything and nothing's worked. Okay, so this is it. This is my last attempt to force you to step up and try to start taking care of yourself again. At least go talk to her. All right. Yeah, let's go. Truck? No, we're taking my bike, it's faster. Oh, no, no, there's no way I'm getting on that bucket of bolts again. Let's take the truck. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where the heck do you think you two are going? Oh, hey, Cap. Uh, no, we have to, I got, I got There's an emergency. It's a wedding emergency. We gotta stop a wedding. And uh, uh, I'll shove it, Cap, and we gotta go. Well, at least make it look like you're working. That was a real nice thing you did there, Captain. Yeah. I have my moments. Yeah.
Cliff. Grace. You look beautiful. I was looking for you. Me too. I mean, I was looking for you too. I mean, it's bad luck to see the bride before the wedding. What do we do now? Well, I'm not running down the aisle yelling, stop the wedding. Then we create a diversion. A diversion? Put this gear on. What? We'll rush into the church, fully equipped, you yell fire, and I'll evacuate the place. Are you out of your mind? We'll keep our masks down. No one will even recognize us. I'm walking home, Frank. Leave me alone. Steve! You're a great brother, but you don't have to help me anymore. I'll be all right. You put your whole life on hold for me. You moved in with me. You need to move on. We both do. Hey, Steve. Hey, Michelle. <laughs> hi. Michelle, meet my brother, Frank. Oh, hi. Hey. Um, so you're a fireman, too? Uh, yeah. I'm helping Grace with your company's cookbook, so... Cool. <laughs> cool. I can barely boil water. Yeah, I'm not much of a cook, either. So, uh, I don't know, you like tattoos? I was actually gonna get one. Something tells me you're not going my way. You might be surprised. We didn't go through with it. Why? Cliff and I both realized we're on different paths now. Cliff's a great guy, just not mine anymore. I feel like a burger. Come on, get in. Yeah, you may want to change first. <laughs> Probably a good idea. I'm a shooter when it comes to my looks. 